Hi guys, in this video we will discuss one problem that is about finding subsets of a given string. So in the input you will be given a string like uh, it's given ABC. Uh, you need to output all possible subsequences or subsets that you can form from that given string, right? So this is how the output will look like. So what we can do is let's see how we can solve this problem. So the question is about finding subsequences. Okay, and if you carefully analyze how do you find a subsequence, then for every character you will have two options. Either that will be part of a output or not. So A can have two options, B can have two options, C will have two options. So this total makes two into two into two eight possible subsets. Okay, and if you do not include a b or c you will get a null subset and if you include all of those then you will get a subset which contains all of these a b c then you can have subsets of length one in which there is only one character you can have a you can have b you can have c and you can also have subsets of length two where you can have a b you can have b c you can also have a and c right remember a and c is not a substring but it is a subsequence right so substrings are con continuous but subsets are not and you can also have that's it right so this total makes eight possible subsets so this is one three three and one right so you have three three one and one so this makes total of eight possible subsets so now our task is to find out or print all these subsets right so we want to print all these eight subsets of the given string or a given set so if you remember how the binary number system works right so let's see the number system right so effectively we want to make all possible combinations of zeros and ones right so if this is a particular combination then this one particular means uh, you want to consider the second number and you want to discard the others right so if i just write the counting from 0 to 7 this becomes 8 numbers right and if i write their equivalent binary so this is 0 0 0 this is 0 0 1 this is uh, 0 1 0 then you have 3 0 1 1 you have 4 1 0 0 you have 5 1 0 1 you have 6 1 1 0 and you have 7 1 1 1 right so this actually makes all possible combinations right so if you talk about 0 0 0 it means you do not want to include any character so you can generate a corresponding null subsequence and if you see 7 you can generate a b c right similarly if you see 5 okay so 5 means include the first one and the third one so you can generate ac and what about 2 so you can extract this bit and you can say okay i get the last bit and i can extract the i can get the last character either you can get c or you can get a right but i'm going to uh, map the last bit with the first character right because the last one is the easier to extract so this makes a null sequence one makes okay sorry sorry this is one so one makes a two makes b three makes a and b four makes uh, c right because i am uh, treating it like this okay so if you get this bit you will pick c five makes a c six makes b c and seven makes a b c right so this is how you can generate all possible subsets right so i will break this problem now into two components one is iterating over the list of numbers this is the first task and the easy one second is given a number n and a string abc you need to extract relevant characters which uh, correspond to set bit in n right for example if this is 101 then you need to extract a and c out of this string right so let's write a function filter 
that accepts n and this input abc and filters out those characters which get mapped with the set bit in n right and then we can just iterate over this range from 0 to 2 raised to the power n where n is the length of the string minus 1 right so we need to iterate from 0 to 2 raised to the power n minus 1 and this can be written as 1 left shift n minus 1 okay so let's build two functions right so let's see so first function is void filter characters which accepts a number n and it also accepts an array a then what we can do we can say okay while this number n is greater than zero you get the last bit which is given by n and one and okay and let's keep an index j so if this last bit is sent then you can say see out array of j and for the next time you can say j plus plus and n equals to n right shift one so let me explain you what i am doing here okay let's see what uh, we are actually trying to do now suppose n is five sorry n is five and this is written like one zero one and i say okay string is a b c so i keep a pointer here j equals to zero i get this last bit so i see if this bit is one if this bit is one so i see out a so a gets printed on the screen and next time i say okay move the j pointer to the next position so j takes the value one and i say okay n equals to n right shift one this is what i'm doing here n equals to n right shift one so that when you extract the last bit now this is the last bit since this bit is zero so we don't do anything right so if this bit is uh, one only then we print array of j otherwise we skip it so skipping means j plus plus and come to the next position so j becomes two and this becomes the last bit so this is now the last bit so this is one and since this is one we print out the value of a of j which is c so given five we are able to extract a c from the string this is what we are doing now we need to run this code for a range so what we can do uh okay so void print subsets we are getting a string a so n would be length of the string strln of a and we can run a loop for i equals to zero i less than one left shift n i plus plus okay so this loop goes till seven if n is three and for every possibility we can call the function filter characters so filter characters i give array and i give the value i and that's it now let's run the our code print subsets and i give uh the input a okay this should be filter cars oh okay so this should be i comma a So let's say input is abc so you can see we are getting eight possible subsets okay and if needed using standard template library uh data structures like vectors strings you can store them in a vector and also sort them in lexicographical order or in any other order also right so as of now we have just generated not stored but if needed you can store and sort do sorting also 